Hi friends, it's Mrs. V. Um, we are going to do our lesson for day two. It is similar to our lesson from day one. You need to get your cards out that we made yesterday, your um, tens cards, okay? And I need you to put them in order from zero to a hundred on the floor or on your table, wherever you are. I just happen to be on the floor. And we are gonna count from zero to a hundred by tens, forward and backwards. And if you are still working on putting them in order, go ahead and pause the video. If you're done, we're going to go ahead and count. That way um, we can get started faster and then we can finish faster so you can play your game. You ready? Here we go. 10, 20, 30, 40. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 100, 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Okay, now what I need you to do is yesterday we had the cards with um, the sevens. Today, I want you to get those cards, and we're going to do, I want you to make cards that say 13, 27, 37, 47, 57, 6, uh-uh, nope, sorry, 13, 23, 33, 43, 53, 63, 73, that's what I want your cards to say today. Okay, so we're going to start with 13. What two tens does 13 belong between? Yeah, 10 and 20. So we're going to lay the 13 between the 10 and the 20. Okay, and then we have the 20 and the 30. So what card is going to go between the 20 and the 30? Right, 23. So I want you to take your cards and I want you to put them in the right spots. And then we're going to count to 100 and back from 100, just like we did yesterday. Okay. All right. So that's my line of cards. All right, you ready? Okay. So we have 10, 13, 20, 23, 30, 33, 40, 43, 50, 53, 60, 63, 70, 73, 80, 90, 100. Let's go backwards. 100, 90, 80, 73, 70, 63, 60, 53, 50, 43, 40, 33, 30, 23, 20, 13, 10. All right, and just like yesterday, what we're going to do is you are going to race to 100. Okay, so you're going to need your 100, your 120 chart out with your pieces of the paper that we cut out. You're going, you and your parent, or you and a sibling, or you and a friend are going to pick a number from the top row. So I picked number one. So my pink counter is on number one. And I'm going to say my friend next to me 
pick the number eight. So our counters are going to be on the number one and the number eight on the top row of my hundreds chart. Okay, and we're going to use our spinner from yesterday, our spinner like this with our pluses and our addition signs and subtract subtraction signs. And we are going to spin it and race to see who gets down to that 120 row first. All right, you ready? Okay, so when I spin my spinner, I, for my pink friend, get a subtraction sign, a minus sign. So if I'm already on one, I cannot subtract anything. Because then I'd be in the negative numbers, and we're not there yet. So I just lose a turn. That's a sad day that I lose a turn. But then I spin again, and I get a plus sign for my orange friend. So because I'm on 8, I get a plus sign. I add 10. So I get to go down to 18. And you're going to continue this play till the end of the row. So that you get to the bottom. Whoever gets to the bottom row, that 120 row first, wins the game. Okay? So then, after you do that, you're going to have, after the game, the race to 10, the race 10 game, you're going to have this, the 10 more sheet. Okay? And we want you to be on version B. And I'm going to let you choose. You could do the top part or the bottom part. You don't have, well, because it's the same thing. So you just want to do one of them. You don't want to repeat the same thing twice because you cut the sheet in half. Okay? So you're going to solve the problems using this number grid. Okay? So you're going to write the number that is 10 more for A, B, C, D, E, and F. And then for number two, you're going to fill in the missing numbers. Okay, so this one is like going up and down. So for A, I don't see anything, but the next one says 42. So I'm going to find 42. And 10 before 42 is 32. So that's what goes in this blank. So then you have 32, 42, 62, 82, 102. So that's how you're filling this in using the hundreds chart over here on the side. When you are done with that, you can take a picture of it and send it to me. You can make a fancy PowerPoint if you want, however you want to do it to practice adding tens to the number that you're given. I hope you guys have a great day. See you next time.